Okay, I want to do a quick video. I've added another camera to my soffit on the far side of the house. I kind of left it for last because it was kind of hard to get to. I had to go into the attic. But what I do is, you see the soffit? I drill a hole into that soffit and then I put a snake through it. And then I get in the attic and I pull the um, wire snake through the attic with um, the actual wire connected to the end of the snake. And here I'll show you some more stuff real quick. So I use this bit on my drill. It's one of those metal bits that um, kind of get larger as you push it through. And I use the whole length, the width of that drill. I made a pretty big hole up there behind the um, camera itself in the soffit. So I drill the hole with this. And then I got this um, wire snake from Home Depot, which has been, it's pretty old. You could get them from Family Dollar and things like that. And what I wound up doing on that soffit is I put, on the end of my wire snake, I put a hanger. And the reason being is because on top of that, um, on top of that soffit is like a, a wall behind it. So you use your hanger to get around the wall before you push the wire all the way through. So I went and pushed the wire all the way through and then I pushed the rest of this red wire, this red fish tape into the soffit. And on the end of the fish tape here, I just taped the electrical wire for the camera. Here's the electrical wire I use. I have the analog version, but you can do this with the ethernet version as well. Now, one thing I would suggest, if you're going to do this, see I got this um, BNC and I got like a power connector on the end. What I would suggest you do, I had the camera right, I plugged the camera into the correct connector on the end of the, the black cable. So I don't make a mistake and, and run the wrong cable and then I'm, I'm pretty much had to do the job all over again. So I put the, I connect the camera to the end of the cable. Then I connect the end of the cable to the end of this fish tape. I have the hanger here that I put into the soffit and I push the hanger into the soffit with the fish tape and I push a lot of the fish tape into the hole. So then when I go in the attic, I basically look for this fish tape with this hanger on it and I have a big stick and I, I grab the hanger and the um, fish tape with a big stick and I pull it and then as I pull the, the fish tape into the hole the black cable also goes in but remember you should have the end of the cable hooked up to the camera and secured somewhere by your ladder because um, you don't want to run the wrong end of this cable they're different one's a male one's a female so to make sure that I didn't screw up I actually physically connected the cable before running the wire and then I ran the wire, I pulled it, and I was all good. And now I have an extra camera going into my DVR. So hopefully that helps people. Um, one thing you want to do is when you have one of these bits, these chucks don't really hold the bits very well. And what I do, at least on this chuck, is I put a piece of tape on the end of the, the bit so it sticks better in the drill and doesn't... I got one of these lost once inside the soffit. So now I put a piece of tape at the end and I, I, I push down on that, on my chuck. And that way it's always tighter now. And I didn't lose the bit this time. I, I still got my bit. But I went all the way down to the end of this bit. I actually made two holes behind the, um, the camera mount there. And then I just screwed it into the soffit. It's not the greatest screws, but it holds. I have it in other locations. So that's how I ran my cable from the far end of the house.